Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is Mathematics, and in this video, we want to look at the 2023 GCE Paper 1, question number 13. The question reads, the mass of a bag of millimeter is 25.2 kg. Okay, so this was the mass of this bag of millimeter. The question further says, calculate the first one, tolerance. Okay, then the second part, relative error. Let's identify the topic from which the question is coming from. That should be the first thing whenever you are dealing with mathematics. By identifying the topic, it will help you understand everything that you've learned under that topic. Looking at the question, you can agree with me that we are talking about approximations. This is approximation. Now let's try to remember everything that we've learned. The first part here, we are told to calculate tolerance. Well, I'll be able to recall, to remember the formula. That's the first thing. So, our solution here, we are going to say tolerance is equal to, can you remember? Well, we always say upper limit minus lower limit. This is the formula that you should not forget. Sometimes this upper limit can be written or they can use other words. They can say upper bound minus lower bound. It's the same thing. Don't get confused that no, Mr. Kalunga said this, what I found is this, they are the same. Now, according to the question here, what is our upper limit? What is our lower limit? When we subtract the two, we are going to get tolerance. Well, the question says the mass of a bag of millimeter is 25.2 kg. Okay? 25.2 kg. That is the mass. So here we are saying mass is equal to 25.2 kg. In order for you to find the upper and lower limit, you need to know what we call absolute error of that mass. So what is the absolute error of this mass? How do we get that? I want you to know that the absolute error of any number given to one decimal place, any number given to one decimal place, the absolute error is always 0 0.05. Take note. Any number given to one decimal place, as long as it is one decimal place, absolute error is 0 0.05. If a number is a whole number, if for example it was just 25 kg, as long as it is a whole number, then the absolute error is 0 0.5. If there are two decimal places, absolute error is 0 0.005. Now you can ask, Mr. Kalunga, where are these numbers coming from? Well, if a number is a whole number, like 25 kg, this is the whole number, right? Since this is the whole number, it means it lies between 24.5 kg and 25.5 kg. So this 25 kg is between these two numbers. Do you agree? That is what we teach you under this topic called approximations. You are approximating. So this 25 is between these two numbers. Now, when I subtract 
24.5 from 25.5. I'm going to get one. I think that. I'm going to get one. 25.5 minus 24.5. I'll get one. Then always divide by two. Because there are two here. Always divide by two. One over two, this will give you 0 0.5. That is the reason why I said all whole numbers have got the absolute absolute error of 0 0.5. Have you seen that? For decimals with one decimal number, absolute error is this one here. Where is it coming from? For all numbers, it's one. I see. For one decimal place, it will be 0 0.1 divided by 2. You get this. For two decimal places, it will be 0 0.01 divided by 2. You are going to get this. I hope you understand the pattern there. So, for this one here, since it has got one decimal place, then the absolute error is 0 0.05. This is important in our calculations here. We cannot do the calculations without this. Now, what will be our upper limit? Our upper limit, since I now know the absolute error, that it is 0 0.05, therefore my upper limit here will be 25.2, 25.2 plus upper you add, plus this number, 0 0.05. Are you seeing this? This is your upper limit. Minus your lower limit. You get this. 25.2 minus lower minus absolute error. 0 0.05. Are you seeing that? So now, let's do the calculations and see what we are going to get. 25. 0.2, we are adding this, 0 point, so when you are adding, the decimal point must coincide here, 0 here, then this 0 will be here, 5 here, we can add, we can do the addition here, so I'm going to add a 0 there, 0 plus 5, it will be 5, here 2, point, here 5, 2, are you seeing that? So I'm going to get 25.2. Five as my upper limit minus let's subtract this side 25.2 subtracting this so meaning zero here minus uh, point then I've got zero five okay do that minus and a zero here then you are going to say zero take away five of course we have to cancel this remain with the one here add the one there becomes 10 minus 5, this will give you 5, 1 minus um, 0, it will be 1 point, then this side I'll have a 5 and a 2, so it will be minus 25.15, then my tolerance here, my tolerance will be equal to, I can now subtract the 2. To get the final answer so I'm going to subtract let me use this space here or even here it will be 25.25 subtract 25.15 okay we do the subtraction 5 take away 5 is 0 2 take away 1 is 1 point this is 5 uh, take away 5 is 0, then 2 take away 2 is 0. So I will remain with 0 0.10. 0. So uh, my answer will be 0 0.10. This is my final answer. 0 0.10 kg. That is my tolerance kg here. I hope we are together on tolerance on how to get that one. We move on to the next part, where it says relative error. What formula are we going to use? So we say, this is B, relative error is equal to what? What 
is the formula. So we say absolute error over true value. True value. This is the formula. Don't forget. Then looking at that, we are going to say absolute error. We have already calculated absolute error here. Do you remember this one? 0 0.05. 0 0.05 that is the absolute error over true value the true value of this bag of minimum 25.2 uh, 25 so we are saying 25.2 okay now we can divide without the calculator how are we going to do it well what you can do here is what we have here are decimals so you can change them to whole numbers we've got two after the decimal point we've got two meaning multiply by hundred even here multiply by hundred okay next when you multiply 0 0.05 times hundred it means i'm shifting this point two times one two meaning one two so i'll remain with the five on top over Again here, shifting the decimal point two times. So, one, two, meaning there's a zero here. I see that? So I can add. It's not there, but I can add. So shifting two times, it will be one, two. So now my answer here will be two, five, two. There will be one, zero, like that. Are you seeing the way I've changed them into four numbers? then I can now divide. What number can go into 5 and uh, in this number here? Of course it is uh, 5. So I'll say 5 into 5, 1. 5 into 25 is what? 5. Then 5 into 2, it is 0. Add these two numbers, it becomes 20. 5 into 20, it is uh, 4. So my final answer will be 1 over 504. This will be now my relative error. It is a ratio, so there will be no need of you putting units to this question. I hope you have understood this question. Please, these are not the only questions that they can ask you. Apart from tolerance here, relative error, they can also ask you to calculate percentage error. You need to know that the formula for percentage error is equal to relative error times 100%. That is percentage error. I hope you have enjoyed. Please don't forget to share the video so that others can also learn. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook and TikTok. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.